What's up, family? There's a rapper by the name of Jonah Lucas who just dropped a truth track on America, and it's already gone viral. The track is very intense. It's a well-put-together piece of art that provokes conversation by two opposing forces that are intent on being heard. You have these two actors who are reciting Jonah's lyrics. One side has a white man who is wearing an off-brand Make America Great hat, Make America Great Again cap. On the other side is a guy who represents black males. In this video, these guys are laying out their case. And everybody's heard both sides before. But it's just interesting to see somebody put it actually in a record. As an artist, sometimes you hear songs and you be like, damn, man, why I didn't think of that? It'd be right there in your face. Now, the white guy starts it off. He starts off laying his case and he says this. With all due respect, I don't have pity for you black niggas. That's the way I feel. The song starts. This is the white guy, the Donald Trump supporter, giving his perspective on the black community. I see a black man aiming his gun, but I'd rather see a black man claiming his son. And I don't mean just for one day and you're done. I mean, you still trapped in a rut. I work my ass off and pay taxes for what? So you can keep living off free government assistance, food stamps for your children, but you're still trying to sell them for some weed and for some liquor, a fucking babysitter. During the tirade, the white character adds, I'm not racist. My sister's boyfriend's black. I'm not racist. My sister-in-law's baby cousin Tracy got a brother and his girlfriend's black. After the white character says he wish he knew the black man's side of the story, the black character is quick to oblige him with these words. With all disrespect, I don't really like you white motherfuckers. That's just where I'm at. Screaming all lives matter is a protest to my protest. What kind of shit is that? The young black man goes on to explain why it's inappropriate for white people to use the term nigger. And he does this before dissecting the white man's accusations in the first verse. You think you know everything, but you don't. You want to copy our slang and everything that we know. Trying to steal black culture and then make it your own. Whoa, fuck, I'm exhausted. I can't even drive without the cops trying to start shit. I'm tired of the systematic racism bullshit. All you do is false shit. This is the shit I'm faced with. Then it gets really heated after that. It goes on and on. Now, here's my take. Both men laid out their case with some truths. And it also had some broad generalizations. And, and y'all know what those generalizations are. I don't have to even have to go through them. Y'all heard both sides of this argument a million times and all people have to do is really be honest with themselves to come to the solution but what i do like about the song is i like the song's honesty it's very intense it's gonna piss people off but you know great hip-hop with a social message often does that so and it's supposed to make you uncomfortable. Injustice is not supposed to be comfortable. Um, you know, everybody thinks that their hurt hurts the most. That's the one thing that I've, I've noticed in life. I don't care what the situation is. People just think that their hurt hurts the most. They think that their struggle is 
the worst ever. I don't care if you're you live in Bosnia and there's a war going on and you the war has been in your backyard for 12 years straight or you have a situation where you was trying to get to Starbucks before it closed and you couldn't get your daily fix of cappuccino. People think the struggle is real. <laughs> so we have to get around the whole idea of not listening. See, everybody do a lot of talking, but we really don't really care to listen. And But listening is one thing. That's a good start. But that action, man, action speaks louder than words. So what's the solution? Everybody want to know, well, yeah, you know, what's the solution to racism? We talk about it a lot. We talk about it a lot. But what is the solution? I could go and lay out a 10-point plan. And I've done that before. But this time, I'm going to keep it real, real simple for you. This is something real, real simple. You don't have to think about the different things that you have to sacrifice and different programs or what's going to cost money and how it's going to hurt you or affect you. I'm going to make it real, real plain for you, like my mama used to say. Treat people how you want to be treated. Man, it solve everything. Just treat people like you want to be treated. Some people are pain freaks, so we're going to exclude them and put them in, in the corner, let them sit in the corner. But for the rest of us, most people don't like being called names. Most people don't like being discriminated against. Most people can't imagine the idea of somebody just walking up to them, busting them in their eye for no reason at all. Most people don't want to get shot by a stranger or anybody just because they look a different way or they practice a different religion. Treat people how you want to be treated. Now in this video, the video ends on a good note. The only thing that I saw about the video, it was just an argument. There was no solution in, in the video. You know, it was just pretty much an argument. There was some things said at the end of the video. There was some text there, you know, that was positive, but there was really no solution to it. But all in all, it was a good video, provocative piece. If you're the type of person you want to learn, you want to become a better person, and you know the error of your ways, you can recognize the error of your ways, I think you can watch that and you can take away something from it. You can take away something positive from the video. It does end on a good note. Most people say that it's very unrealistic. The two guys actually share a hug at the end of the video. They hug it out. While it won't fix racism, racial harmony is always a good thing. I wonder if the demander and thief Donald Trump will watch the video. Probably not. But if he did, he would probably get someone to edit out the black guy's part and tweet about the white guy's hat. I'm on top. What the talking about?